Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Lainey. Today we're going to be doing a very different video for me and that is baby names I love but probably won't be using. <laughs> Honestly, I could see myself using a lot of these names just depending, you know, how many kids I have. Who knows if I'll be one and done. Whenever people ask and they're like, oh, do you want more? It's like, I haven't even had one. How am I supposed to know if I want more? Okay, that's besides the point. So I'm not going to be saying uh, my daughter's name. She will be here in November and then you guys will find out. I was honestly really open to sharing the name before because it's really not a like crazy or unique name. And honestly, a lot of you guessed it when I talked about it on my Instagram. But Brandon, my boyfriend, and the dad, he said that he thinks we should keep it a secret and listen to him for this. I'm going to be sharing all the other girl names on my list. She's literally kicking me right now. She's like, are you talking about me? I'll be sharing all the other girl names on my list. And then we have two boy names. One of the names is actually like gender neutral. Honestly, all our names are pretty gender neutral in my opinion. There's two boy names that I will not be sharing because they are pretty unique and they're just so sentimental to us that I don't want to share them until or if we had a, a boy. So these are baby names I love and will probably use. We have the two girl names that I'm not gonna share because the one we're using and the other one is an interchangeable boy girl name. The next name I have on my list is another one that so many of you guys guessed and that's Cecilia. I think Cecilia is such a pretty name. I am very much into for girl names. I like the more old school traditional names and there's something about Ilya at the end of Cecilia that I think is so 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 pretty. So the reason I don't think we'd use Cecilia is because I also really like the nickname Cece. I think Cece is such a cute name and Brandon only likes the nickname Cece and he is the type of person and I kind of agree to this notion that he doesn't like the idea of naming your kid something but calling them something else. So you know like how people will name their kid John and call them Jack. Brandon's like just name your kid Jack. or you know, longer names where it's like you name your kid Jonathan, but you know you're only going to call him John. You name your kid Matthew and you know you're only going to call him Matt. Like just call them or name them the shorter version. I don't know. I guess we're, we're really not into like the formalities. So Brandon likes the name Cece. He doesn't like Cecilia. When I s could see myself calling her Cecilia and like interchangeably using the two, which I'm not opposed to that. And it's so funny because my name, my name on my birth certificate is Elena and I do not go by Elena. Nobody calls me Elena. I go by Lainey 110% of the time. Like my parents don't even call me Elena. That I wasn't on purpose. I just started calling myself Lainey when I was like two or three years old, I think. But I always hated that like people would see that and be like, Elena, like that's not your name. You're Lainey. And I'd be like, yeah, I know. I hate it. So that's so why I'm against it. So Brandon really likes Cece, but I don't think I would just name her Cece. Like, I don't know. It's a little too baby cutesy. I like cutesy names though. And you're going to see that. That one has a long spiel because I want to preference it for like the rest of the names that I say. Okay. The next one kind of has that same feeling. A lot of you guys guessed it and it's Delilah. I think Delilah is such a pretty name. It's just again one of those classic pretty names. I really like flower names. Brandon just doesn't like Delilah and this is another name that I could see calling her Delilah but interchanging it with like Dee Dee or D. I think both those are really really cute names. So I'm still like fully on board with Delilah. Brandon doesn't like it and I fully came up with both of those. Most of the names that I have are from songs or like um singers which is so funny because cecilia is from you guys ever listen to the vamps there's that one song cecilia you're breaking my heart you're shaking my comp that song i think that's originally by someone else but you know in middle school or high school whenever i found it uh, it was the vamps is the reason i found it because sean mendez was featured on the track and then delilah is hey there delilah what's it like yeah so both of those are songs I don't know why, because I'm not a music person either. The next name I really, really like, and I'm upset because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a reboot of this show or of this character, and that's Wednesday. I am obsessed with Wednesday. I think that it is such a pretty name, and I think I could get Brandon on board with it. Yeah, I love Wednesday. The only thing that like I can't really decide is would you spell it like Wednesday like Wednesday or would you spell it in like the way that it sounds like w-e-n-s-d-a-y but then that looks stupid Wednesday is just really long and like I can imagine her going to preschool and being like why did you name me Wednesday like that is such a long name and hard to spell and I'd be like I don't know 
and no nicknames with Wednesday, but I kind of like that. Okay, next two names are super classic. The next one is Sophie. I think Sophie is, again, such a pretty name. Classic, it's timeless, it's just cutesy. I would name her Sophie for sure, not like Sophia. Not that I don't like Sophia, I still think that's a really pretty name, but I would only call her Sophie. I would never call her Sophia, so Sophie, very cute. I don't think Brandon likes that name. The way I'm saying this, it sounds like Brandon doesn't like any of the names I pitch, but I barely like any of the names he pitches and what we are naming our daughter we both have been obsessed with I guess I can tell the backstory of it so what we are naming our daughter we've had for seven years now this name since our very first date it is after the song we were listening to on repeat during our first date that's why we like so agree on it because it's just like sentimental and really special to us everything else like doesn't have meaning so it's harder you know, most of our names like have a meaning and a story. And the last girl name I have on my list is Betty. I think Betty is again just a pretty and fun and cutesy name and that's what I like. Classic, timeless Betty. It's so cute. And uh, one of my favorite songs is Betty by Taylor Swift. So that's why that's on there. Brandon's not like opposed opposed to it, but if he heard me say it's because I like that song. He'd probably be more opposed to it. I don't think he likes that song. He just doesn't like Taylor Swift. Boy names, two I won't be sharing. And you guys, they're so good. So I didn't have any boy names on my list besides the two that I'm like so sure we're gonna use if we have a boy. For boy names, I really like more like quote unquote feminine names, like cutesy names for a boy is like my favorite. Um, I think it, I don't know. I just love it so much. And it's like different because for girl names, I really like these traditional names, but for boy names, I like more non-traditional names. So it's either like a cutesy quote unquote girl name. I know there aren't girl names and boy names, but you guys know what I mean. Societal standard girl name but I like them for a boy. It's cute. Or they're like <laughs> quote unquote societal like dog names, but they're like not. Like I'm not naming my kid a dog name. Okay, let's just get into it. The first one though, <laughs> my first name on my list is actually Ernie and Ernie is my dog and that's why I can share this name because we will obviously never ever 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 use Ernie on a kid and I loved the name Ernie. I thought it was so cute and just like playful and fun for a boy and um, three years ago before like we went and got Ernie, we were talking about dog names and I have like a dog names list on my list with my kids names and Brandon saw Ernie on the kids name and was like, oh, what about Ernie? And and I was like, no, like I want to name a, a kid Ernie. I don't want to name a dog Ernie. Brandon was like, I'm going to tell you right now, I will never, ever, ever, ever agree to Ernie for a kid. And I was like, okay, we're going to name our dog Ernie then. <laughs> and that's how we compromise. Um, now I can't imagine a kid named Ernie. I'm like, oh, Ernie's a dog's name. It's not. And when we got Ernie, his name was Marco. Could you imagine my little puppy Ernie as Marco? Oh my god, so ugly. So yeah, Ernie's like still a really cute name though, and if I hadn't used it on a dog, I would have wanted to use it on a kid. And that's where my dilemma starts with giving my person, a human, a more dog name, and Ernie, my dog, has a really human name. The next name I have, so these two I had to like make up or like come up with, and the past couple days I've been like racking my brains because I wanted to share some boy names that I like that are kind of similar to the names that I want to use just because I like, I don't know, I really want to share the names because they're so cute, but Brandon wouldn't like that. He likes privacy. The next name I have on my list is Lincoln. I think that this is such a freaking cute name. Again, it kind of gives dog energy, but I could see myself calling like my son Lincoln or calling, you know, someone Lincoln. And then also, you know, as a nickname, just Link. I think that's really, really cute. I have not pitched this name to Brandon, but because we just like like our two boy names so much that like I haven't thought to like pitch more boy names and we're having a girl um <laughs> but I'm curious to know what Brandon would think about Lincoln and like having the nickname Link because I'm pretty sure he likes Zelda so that like Game Boy character Link yeah I wouldn't be surprised if like my brother ends up using Lincoln he really likes Link from Zelda Link's in Zelda right I don't know I know Link from Super Smash Brothers and the next boy name I have is Rocky I think that this is again a really really cute name one of our boy names is from a rapper the one I'm not sharing, but like you can't tell it's a rapper. Rocky is like more literal from the, a rapper, ASAP Rocky. And so to like get inspo, I was like, oh, what are other rapper names? And then I was like, oh, ASAP Rocky. And I was like, Rocky's a really cute boy name. Like I like that. I don't think I would use it because I like my other ones more, but it's cute. It's so cute. Would he get the nickname The Rock? 
ew you have to think of those things okay then i added brandon's two boy names that he really likes and has liked for a while now and i uh, very aggressively have vetoed you guys are gonna be so stunned i didn't share his girl names he likes that's okay they're boring his boy names are funny so he likes the name earl for a boy e-a-r-l earl sounds like hurl and i think of that awful the chick song goodbye earl it's not awful but it talks about how awful earl is and they literally kill him and hide his body yeah no earl goodbye earl it's just ugly i don't know why he likes it like imagine a little baby like cute precious perfect baby and you're like earl what has he lost his mind and like the other two boy names we have that like we've agreed on are so cutesy pretty names and then earl i'm like he would not fit in the dynamic we've created and the last one is drax d-r-a-x drax um i think this is mostly from guardians in the galaxy guardians of the galaxy mostly he really likes the name dracula and in his head drax would be short for dracula like could you imagine the complex our kid would have if we told him he was really named after dracula <laughs> Let me know if you'd like it if you were named after Dracula. But I guess they are gonna be named after like rappers and weird things. I almost just said our girl's name, but you guys don't know it yet. Oh, I can't wait to just like reveal the names. And okay, whatever. Those are the names that I like and maybe we'll use one day. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also leave me your favorite boy, girl, or gender neutral name in the comments below um, because who doesn't love name inspo? That's why probably most of you are watching this video. If you guys want to see more baby content, let me know. I can do that for you guys. But also, we will be doing lots of fashion content on this channel because just because I'm having a baby does not mean my whole persona is changing. I hope. Well, I love you so much. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.